So in this example, I'm going to go with a nice tricky example. Um, find the values of k so that k plus 2 all uh, times x squared plus 3kx minus 2k plus 3 equals 0 has no real roots. Okay, So um, it's tricky because the numbers are tricky. Okay, That's really where this is going. Um, because we're wanting no real roots, the discriminant must be less than 0. So b squared minus 4ac must be less than 0. Um, so we have a is k plus 2, b is 3k, and c is minus 2k plus 3. Okay? So b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So we've got b squared, so that's 3k all squared. Take away four lots of A times C, and that must be less than zero. So we're going to have to multiply out a lot of brackets here. So we've got 3k all squared is 9k squared. Take away four lots of, well, we've got minus 2k squared, 3k, take away 4k is minus k. Uh, plus 6 is less than 0. So if I tidy that up, we've got 9k squared plus 8k squared plus 4k uh, minus 24 is less than 0. So we have 17k squared plus 4k minus 24 is less than 0. Okay. So this one doesn't factorise, so you're going to have to use the quadratic formula, and remember, it, you've got to be able to have your basic mathematical tools here of multiplying by large numbers. So, um, what we're going to have here is that k is equal to, using the quadratic formula, which remember is... Uh, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So a is 17, b is 4, and c is minus 24 here. So we've got b squared, so, sorry, we've got minus b, so that's minus 4, plus or minus b squared, which is 16, take away 4 times a times c all over 2a so all over 34 okay this is lovely looking thing so we've got to work out what 4 times 7 times 24 is okay so 17 times 2 is 34 so that's 68 so 68 times 24 8, 16, uh, 32, 6, 4 is a 24, so that's 27, uh, 2, 8 is 16, 2, 6 is a 12, 13, so 2, 13, 5, 6, 1, so 1, 6, 3, 2, um, so we've got minus 4, plus or minus, 1, 6, 3, 2 square rooted, Sorry, I haven't added that to the 16, so we're going to need to add that to 16, so that's 4, 8. All over 34. Okay. Now, um, looking at that, um, 16, 48 is divisible by 16. Uh, so we can simplify that. Um, so that's 103, so that's the square root of 103, um, brings out a factor of 4, so we can divide everything by um, 2, so we've got minus 2, plus or minus 2 lots of root 103 over 17. Okay, that stage I wouldn't worry too much about, um, but that's how it would simplify down. So, really the main bit here is that it is a uh, positive parabola on the k-axis. It's got two solutions. We've got minus 2, take away 2, root 103, all over 17. And we've got minus 2, 
plus 2 root 103 over 17. And because we want, where is the parabola below the line of y equals 0 or the k axis? It is between those two values. So we have minus 2 take away 2 root 103 over 17 is less than k is less than minus 2 plus 2 root 103 over 17. Okay? So if you do have to use the quadratic formula, this is the way that you would do it um, at this stage. Find the two solutions and then find the region that you need. Okay, this is as tricky as they could possibly come. Um, so, I mean, it's likely that they're going to veer away from making you do too much mental arithmetic, but um, this is the way that you would go about it.